Okay, Pedro, we're live. Okay, uh, Sergeant Hope, if you could start the cloud recording. Well, recording started. Thank you. Uh, good morning, everyone. Welcome to the to the committee vote on civil and human rights. At this time, would all panelists please turn on your video. To minimize disruption, please place electronic devices to vibrate or silent. Thank you for your cooperation. We are ready to begin. Ready? Yeah. Uh, good afternoon. <clears throat> I'm Matthew Eugene, and I'm the chair of the Civil and Human Rights Committee. Thank you for joining our virtual vote today on proposed introductions 1684A and 1685A, sponsored by Councilmember Ayala. Before we begin, I would like to acknowledge my colleagues on the committee who have joined us, Councilmember Baron, Councilmember John, and Councilmember Waglander and Councilmember Perkin. Thank you so very much. Even though New York City has some of the strongest anti-discrimination laws in the country, we still hear stories about all the workers being discriminated against while either working or trying to gain an employment. Some of these issues were highlighted at the previous hearing we held on this topic late last year. With the COVID-19 pandemic, age discrimination has only worsening for older Americans. Company layoffs have disproportionately targeted individual and protected categories. As of all September 2020, unemployment rates for people over the age of 55 have increased from 3.3% prior to the pandemic to 26.4%. I've been examining previous testimony in detail while considering the impacts of COVID-19 pandemic, we have identified a range of legislative measures that can strengthen protection for these workers. This bill tasked the City Commission on Human Rights and uh, the Department of City Administration Services to develop educational materials and training on age discrimination. Proposed introduction bill number 1684A would require the commission to create an anti-discrimination poster that covers age discrimination and to make education outreach materials on age discrimination available to, uh, on their website. These posters would then have to be displayed by every city agency. Proposed introductory bill number 1685A requires the Department of Citywide Administrative Services to include training on age discrimination as part of, of all the trainings provided to the city employees. This training must be taken by city employees every two years. Before I call the vote, I'd like to thank our committee staff, Berkiz and Marie, Senior Counsel to the committee, Juan Juvi, Policy Analyst, and Nevin Singh, Finance Analyst, as well as my staff, Melissa Woodson. And I would like also to thank all of the staff of the City Council that make our virtual hearing possible today. With this, uh, I would like now to call Councilmember Ayala to say some few words about uh, uh, Bill Intro 1684A and Intro 1685A. Councilmember Ayala. Thank you. I, I will be brief in my remarks. I just wanted to thank the staff as well. Um, we just voted on a series of bills in the aging committee as well that we hope will help strengthen this package and will give older adults the tools that they need to really fight back against this, this type of discrimination that we all know happens. Uh, unfortunately, it's very difficult to prove um, that it's happening. And so with this package, we're hoping to put a little bit more teeth behind um, our policies and, and the requirements on city agencies. So thank you to all of my colleagues for uh, showing up today and, and, and voting to ensure that older adults 
are protected in the workforce. Thank you. Thank you very much, Councilman Berrera. And now let me call the clerk to call the vote, please. Let me call the vote. Good afternoon. William Martin, committee clerk, roll call vote the committee on civil and human rights. Items are coupled. Chair Eugene. I vote aye. Barron. Thank you. Congratulations to Council Member Ayala. I vote aye. Thank you. Drum. You're muted, Council Member. I vote aye, and this is very important and necessary uh, legislation. Thank you very, very much. Thank you, sir. Lander. I vote aye on all. Diana, thank you and congratulations. Thank you. Perkins. Did you hear me? I vote aye. Yes, Councilman. Thank, thank you, you, sir. Thank you very much. Appreciate your support. Okay. By a vote of five in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstentions, both items have been adopted by the committee. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, now this hearing is adjourned.